What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and it's been a week, a hilarious week of uh, Seth Rogen melting down, Sarah Silverman melting down, completely abandoning their um, abomination project, Santa Inc., which is currently sitting at 183,000 downvotes compared to a whopping 4,000 upvotes on YouTube. And that's just the trailer. Nobody's watching the show on HBO Max. Nobody's talking about this show uh, on Twitter. It's an abomination. It's terrible in every conceivable way, which for whatever reason is exactly why it looks like it may be getting a season two. I know you probably can't believe it, but we do live in a world where She-Ra uh, had like four or five seasons and where he-Man, I'm sorry, Masters of the Universe, Revelations, uh, was a two-part series. So Santa Inc. is already being shilled by local media or by uh, online media of having a season two. Just a brief reminder of, you know, where we're at in terms of Santa Inc. It has exactly 1,149 reviews on Rotten Tomato, sitting at a beautiful... 4%. Now that's out of 100, not 5, just in case you're curious. And now, even though they're not showing it, it technically has a certified fresh rating uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. It has, what, 75% certified fresh? What's frustrating is I can't read who these people are. It's been over a week and just Three critics have reviewed the show. Three. And they won't show me who they are. You, oh, I'm sorry. Here they are, right down here. Uh, you see, uh, Santa Inc. is notionally about Christmas, but it also wants to be cooler than the genre in which it's being a part of. In elevating itself above the subject matter, Santa Inc. ends up feeling dour and heavy, a television televised lump of coal. But here's from The Hollywood Reporter and Decider. Sure, Santa Inc. isn't afraid to get raunchy, and it feels like it lays that on a bit thick. But there is a fun story at the center, backed by funny performances from Silverman and Rogan and the rest of the cast. Santa Inc. is proudly crude and immature without wholly abandoning holiday spirit. So it's technically certified fresh by Rotten Tomatoes standards. Now, there's only three critic reviews, and you see... December 1st, Hollywood Reporter submitted their review before the show was even out. September 2nd, the show was out, got a rotten review from Variety. And then Decide, or whoever that is, uh, decided to swing in now today, a full week later, and give it a fresh rating. Of course, Seth Rogen still hanging on to the idea that um, you know everyone who hates this show is a uh, white supremacist. That's his words, not mine. And he's been awfully quiet on Twitter ever since then. Uh, you can see the replies filled with Christmas cheer. You see it's a Gundam getting in here. Yellow Flash dunking on him. Syrian girl dunking on him. Um, I mean, all of this basically is on the heels of a nuclear bad take that he had as well, where um, he claims that being robbed, his car getting broken into 15 times is totally cool, and then complaining about it is not cool. At one time, one of the robbers actually left him a cool little gift. You see uh, Vito's video in here. It's it's it's, it's impressive just how bad uh, it's been going for him. But, you know, they cashed their check. Sarah Silverman has completely abandoned it. Uh, nobody's talking about anything. She's not talking about this show at all. She sent one tweet about it on December 4th. Two days after the show came out, and they were both brutally ratioed, uh, you know. And and but but that's not enough. That's not what you know how Hollywood does things. Season two. When should we expect another season? Santa Inc. giving people a reason to vote Rudolph into power. This from Israel Today. No, the reference isn't to a cute red-nosed reindeer. Um, Anti-Semites have something more nefarious in mind, and many Jews are playing into their hands. What? What? 
there's certainly some memes about it. And this is, of course, talking about um, some people who put left some spicy comments. But is 183,000 people are all these evil uh, uh, sheet wearing meanies? Here's Movie Web. Will Santa Inc. get a season two? Many are wondering if HBO Max's latest animated series will get a season two. Who? Literally, who is thinking that? HBO Max's latest eight-episode animated series from Seth Rogen and Sarah Silverman landed on streaming services earlier this month. Noddings to Rankin Boss, Christmas specials and, uh, like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Santa Inc. follows a female elf named Candy Smalls Silverman who decides she wants to break down the inherent patriarchal structures of the North Pole and become the next Santa Claus. By the way, I finally watched uh fat man last night mel gibson it's i would call it like almost like a dark comedy um christmas movie unironically good gives my seal of approval you know if you don't have your expectations up so high uh and if you can forgive mel gibson for some of his past disc discretions and things that he said pretty good movie in fact Mel Gibson has quietly done a lot of good movies. He also did the one where he had the puppet, the beaver puppet. I forget what that is. It was like dealing with mental health. I thought it was excellent too. Uh, but anyway, yeah, watch that instead of this. Since its release, however, Santa Inc. has received extremely negative reviews. Currently holds a 4% audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes. The holiday-inspired series wouldn't, of course, been the first time Rogan has incorporated his signature and popular crude comedy in the animated series sausage party was filled with garbage too uh yeah i let's see how that video that we was reviewed i thought it was one of the worst movies i've ever seen audience gave it a 50 percent. that's higher than i thought um i wouldn't exactly say that that's extremely popular either then um uh but i digress san inc was seemingly uh, brigaded with critics and audience. Rogas, in fact, blames the supremacists for all the negative reviews, citing the series' progressive values as a fundamental reason for their dislike. Even still, when a show gets this much buzz, it's almost certain that many will be tuning in to watch in order to judge for themselves. Um, no, you know, I, I, I mean, look, I would never tell you what to do, but, you know, I can safely say the show is just as bad as you might have imagined, perhaps even worse in some cases. The cast led by blah, 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 blah. Yes, they, you know, I don't care about any of this. Santa Inc.'s plot, I don't want to bore you with that. We find out that, oh, I don't want to spoil this amazing show for you. The critics have been a bit more favorable to Santa Inc. compared to the audience reviews. Um, really? I mean, not really. I mean, I, I guess. Critics, uh, critics, loved it so much that they didn't bother spending the half an hour to watch it. Well, it's actually a couple of hours you have to commit to review it. San Inc. has been getting a shocking amount of hate from audiences. The series has become the lowest rated television show in history and has landed the number one spot in IMDb's lowest rated series. Okay. Okay. We live in a country that's extremely politically divided. Woke culture is a rather new concept that many people are not ready to hop on. One thing, one would think, that themes of equality and feminism would be something that all people would get behind. Jesus. Uh, at the end of the day, one has to wonder whether the message of the show is trying to convey or the actual creative content that's creating so much hate. Rogan and Silverman's comedy is usually very popular. It hasn't been for 10 years. But there seems to be a disconnect between their latest project and some audiences. Maybe it is the fact that Chris is so sacred to many. There is resistance among those seeing traditions change. Maybe the world isn't quite ready for a woman Santa Claus. That's not why. In the end, viewership will inform HBO's Max decision about season two. Nobody watched it. And and I, I don't know that this was ever really something that I expected to have a second season anyway. Um, it was more like a, kind of like a mini series type thing. Um, yeah, no, it's not bad because it's progressive. It's bad because it's woefully unfunny and full of lazy tropes. Uh, and you know, it isn't even that progressive in my opinion, uh, in, you know, which is evidenced by every single reindeer in the show being, uh, a, a stereotypical black person. Uh, but you know, they don't care about that. Uh, you know, to me, they thought that they could trash on Christmas 
and the people that enjoy it and celebrate it, and then everyone will get on board. Well, that's not exactly how it worked out with 183,000 and counting dislikes. Nobody likes this show. Nobody wanted this show and nobody's watching it on HBO Max. There's just no chance. Nobody's talking about it. And if people were watching it, you'd see more than a measly two or three reviews from critics. Just three people. Even if we look at what, how, how many people reviewed Sausage Party, 237. 237 critics reviewed that. And three critics have reviewed Santa Inc. Now, it's a TV show versus a movie. I get it. But, you know, it's a perfect thing to review this time of year. It's a perfect time to dunk on um, incels and, and all this stuff. So you'd think they'd take time. I guess critics are decided it isn't worth the time to watch the show before to, to write the review anyway. Why? Because no one is watching it in the first place. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.